Okay, I'm here at the Farmer, uh, Farmer 2022 Air Show and we're on the Tempest stand with some very interesting fuselage technology demonstrator. And we've got Austin Cook here from Beer, Beer Systems who's going to tell us all about it. Austin. Yes, so, hello, my name's Austin Cook and uh, I'm the principal technologist within the BA Systems Air Sector covering uh, materials and manufacturing. And over the last few years since the Tempest announcement, there's been a significant amount of activity within the Tempest program. Uh, one of the big areas of focus has been on industrial capability. And for ultimately looking to how to transform our industrial capability, we've built a, a facility called Factory of the Future, inside which we've developed a range of new technologies, we've looked at the application of automation, and we've looked at the engineering and digital tools that we need to design the next generation product and then ultimately build it. So we've, we've actually put all of that together and for uh, ultimately the last few years we've then been building this uh, Tempest concept for fuselage structure behind as a way of trying to prove those methods, digital tools and industrial technologies. And, and obviously with the announcement on Monday it's a very exciting time because ultimately going forward is the next step. We're going to start to look to apply these tools to the supersonic flying demonstrator that was announced on Monday. And really, this is a, a kind of a showcase of a, a kind of a factory of the future. You've got you've got uh, robots, you've got three D printing of titanium, you've got um, all kinds of, of, of stuff going on there. Uh, augmented reality. So this program has been done um, in conjunction with around 50 partners and yeah. some of the technologies you mentioned, so uh, there's been a number of technologies being developed alongside the main front fuselage build. Uh, so yes, the use of additive manufacturing, looking at the digital tools, looking at the printing processes, looking at where those technologies can be best applied and some work we've done with research centres like the AMRC, um, as part of the University of Sheffield on 3D printing. We've also worked with Spirit Aero Systems on composites and advanced composite technologies and the TWI on advanced joining methods. And there's examples of those around the stand as well. And all of those start to build up our overall capability uh, as we start to address the challenges of the future. So this is really that kind of like the state of the art in, 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 in kind of aviation uh, aerospace manufacturing. Yeah, we believe so. We've done a lot of work over the last few years. There's a lot of intellectual property that we've identified and, and captured. And yes, we believe that it positions the UK well for unlocking the challenges that are ahead, unlocking benefit, what we like never seen before, and obviously very focused on the next few years in making that transformational leap to a new kind of capability. And you got some patents out of this as well, in this, this project? Yeah, there's a number of patents that have been identified, uh, and that just allows the UK to get a, a quite a strong position, and then we can ultimately work with partners to leverage that as we grow our international footprint in the program. And, and this took two years to, to, to build, but you weren't going at the maximum speed. So, no, no. so with this advanced manufacturing of robots and uh, 3D printing and, and um, uh, you know, augmented reality, what, what do you think is the, the kind of time saving compared to a, a ballpark thing, compared to a kind of a traditional fighter? Yeah, so this program was done over a two year period and, and done it, looking to explore those new methods, looking to try new things, experiment and understand the art of the possible. Um, so it was done in a, in a certain way, but going forward, the benefits that we've been able to identify uh, ultimately allow us to start to move towards the 50% quicker and 50% cheaper challenge that BAE Systems has previously talked about. And this, this type of technology helps us move towards that challenge and address that. Wow, okay, thanks very much.